Lead magnets are a great way to convert more leads, but in today's age, just a simple ebook is not gonna cut it. Hey, what up, this is Marcus. Today we're gonna be talking about FlipLink.me, and what this tool does, it helps you to convert your ebooks into flip books, and you can even customize the design of it, uh, as well as you know, add background music into your PDF file as well. So we're going to be talking about FlipLink.me but before I dive into it be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So here we go. So here we are in FlipLink.me uh, you know setting up a flipbook is very simple. So the first thing that you want to be doing is to make sure that you have a uh, you know a PDF version of your ebook ready right so then you just upload it into fliplink.me okay and this is what you can see i'm just going to show you how it looks like um of course i got this So I got this, uh, sorry about that, <laughs> the music was playing. So uh, I got this ebook from Lamlist, right? It's one of their you know, awesome ebooks that's free on their website called Master the Art of Co-Emailing. Okay, so uh, you can see how it looks like. So the first thing is I've added some music in there. So you can hear that. Right? So next is uh, they do have this, uh, you know, this flipping uh, sound and, you know, animation going on. So it's, it's just, it feels like a 3D um, kind of uh, ebook that you are you know, using and it's, uh, you have, you can have buttons right here. You can have the title of the ebook right here. You can have the buttons. So if I click on this, uh, it's going to open into my website right here uh there is uh, my logo right here so if they click on this this goes to my website as well uh right you can turn it into full screen just by clicking on this okay and then you can uh, zoom in if you know if the text is too small you can zoom in so it feels like a real uh you know real thing i would say okay and uh let's see all right so you can zoom in zoom out let's see what's this Okay, so this opens up the table of content, so you can just kind of skip to a particular page that you want, right there, uh, as you can see, and then you can download the PDF file here as well, let's see what this does, okay, so this downloads it as well, and this does the download as well, okay, so here we go, alright, so I'm going to... Uh, kind of show you how to do this uh, like what are the different options right let me just kind of I were to go to the last page, okay. Okay, and that that is all right. This this page itself. Okay, so here is what you can customize. So you can have you can change the title. You can put description here. All right. So uh, awesome ebook. So then you can see the description as a sort of a helper right here and then you can customize the custom URL this is what I have right here okay you can put branding so I've added the logo uh, you can put a background image this is what it comes with but you can change that if you want to right so you can have it in the living room uh, you can have it in the kitchen right so maybe if you have a cookbook you want to add some nice background that will be it all right and then you can also custom uh the background as well so if you want to use some kind of color for the background you can do so as well you can customize the favicon so like i have done so over here uh the controls so you can pro uh you can stop them from i believe this is printing and then this is download right so if you don't want that you can you know disable that and then 
uh, whether you want to have flip sound you can turn that off as well whether you want to have the table of contents full screen zoom and then of course the uh, music right okay so if you don't want that you can turn that off and uh, also auto flip on play so that means if they click on play uh, it's going to automatically flip through the book so they don't uh, even have to flip it themselves so you can also have a public as well as a password protected uh, ebook right here next you have a uh, lead capture form so you can enable that okay so you can enable a lead capture form so this appears when you try to access the ebook uh, you know instantly right so if I were to open this up uh, you can see that there's a sort of uh, mask uh, it sort of black out the 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 screen for me to put in my email so you can do that as well okay so you can add more fields you can add custom fields as well uh, then the title and then if you want to set a privacy policy you can do so as well and whether you want to allow them to sort of skip and then you have the call to action button which is right here you can have two buttons right you can have two different buttons right here so you know it's all up to you what you want to put in uh, you can change the color of the button as well as the button text and then uh, your settings right so what kind of layout do you want right so you want one single page so uh, you can do so as well all right so let's save this so we'll preview this again <laughs> Okay, now it's like one page, so you read them this way. Okay. Alright, so that's the settings. And then you can see left to right or right to left. So, you know, it's if it's like in Arabic or something, some kind of language that is written from right to left, you can turn that on. Uh, whether you want to no index the, uh, the ebook as well, so that it doesn't appear on Google. Uh, and then whether you want to send email on view and also to show share buttons right so that you can share the ebook uh, any loading text you can put that in as well uh, language you can put that in as well uh, sort of to change the fields and titles and so on right and then analytics so you can insert your facebook pixel your google analytics your google tag manager as well as a Pebbly webhook URL. So that means when you have a new lead, it's going to tra trigger a webhook uh, to Pebbly Connect. So you can use that for automation uh, purposes. Okay. So pretty much that's all I have to share about Flipplink. It's a very, um, very simple but very powerful tool. I would say, right? Because you know, it's a very uh, engaging kind of experience uh, you know right whether you want it to be in a one one sort of screen one page two page but overall you know it's it's just very engaging I would say right so pretty much that's all I have to sh uh, share see uh, and then you also get a QR code of the flip book so you can get someone to scan it as well okay and you can also add your own c name right so right now it's using go.fliplink.me forward slash views if you want to change that you can put in your own c name as well okay so i guess that's all i have to share if you enjoyed this uh, video do give me a thumbs up right i think overall this is a it's a i think it's a very very useful tool there's tons of feature built in uh you know everyone can benefit from Flipplink, right because everyone uses some kind of uh um i would say you know some kind of uh uh, uh lead magnet somehow if you're not using one i think you should be doing so okay so uh, and let me know what your your thoughts on fliplink.me in the comments below if you know anyone who can benefit from fliplink.me be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video bye bye